Lesson 18 starts with another chromatic exercise that is going to focus a lot on independence. This is a good one to practice hands separately if you need to. Your right hand would be playing single independent strokes up the chromatic scale. Your left hand is also playing single independent strokes, but it's outlining the one and the five of a C major scale. The C and the G are providing kind of a little bass accompaniment to your chromatic line. This is an independence issue as that left hand needs to be playing nice full quarter notes. It will be easy to make those notes really short to match the eighth notes and that's what you want to watch for. Your right hand is going to move a little quicker and your left hand should continue in a nice slow quarter note motion. Once again, you'll notice that each measure has a little bit different body motion. When I had the time in my left hand, I went for the center of the bar. There was very little angling, so I had plenty of time to get a nice full sound in the center. With my right hand, because the movement of the eighth notes is rather quick, I chose to aim for the edge of the bar. So therefore, I have two different beating spots and two different body positions between the hands. Sometimes this is going to change measure to measure. So make sure you're analyzing each little measure at a time. You're going to need to do this in future music. So make sure you understand all these angles as it pertains to these little passages.